Hello, champ. Well, I know that you like some felines or maybe some cl c canines. Yes, wolves in this case. And today we are going to draw some a woo. I mean, wolf, of course. Yes, a woo wolves. So yeah, no more trouble with those eyes on different sizes. No more trouble with the size of the muzzle or the place of the ears and how the fur should go on the cheeks. Today we are going to solve all those problems. So remember to leave a like and subscribe for more awesome tutorials. Let's start champ. Before I start to work on this, I really need to show you how a wolf face works. Why not? Wolf face anatomy. I'm here on Pinterest just searching some images to help me on the process because I'm not going all by myself on that. I'm going with help. Help of other artists that have already passed through that. Okay? Don't be a fool. Use the help that you can. Like, I want to draw a wolf with a face like this, but also a little bit turn. No. Turn like this, yeah. Yes, like this. And let's. Yeah, like this. Yeah, better. Search. Let's show a lot of species in the same angle. But I can just click here and go to. Dogo. Where is Dogo? Doc. But. Oh, so there is wolf, please. Here. Wolf. Click on search. Here. A lot of reference poses for me in the angle that I wanted. And this looks beautiful. I just love it. This is the anatomy. When the doggo is angry. Which place is going up? Oh yeah, this place is going to... Is going up going to be pulled up and this is going to happen it's going to create a mark here okay yeah because i know it you know it you know it so why when you are drawing an angry wolf and the wolf is all angry and you do like a eh, eh, there's people that do like this i have seen people doing like this but no it's going up so this part is going like this. And here... Yeah, meat. Accumulation of meat. Oh yeah, that's right. I'm going to give a quick shot. Oh yeah, that muscle. A quick shot about everything that we need to learn basics on the animal body. Okay, this muscle right here. Remember? Do you remember on humans? You saw my tutorial. Oh yeah, this let the dog go, go like... Yeah. Left and right, left and right. I'm doing the otherwise. Okay, I'm doing the other side. Here, muscles to blink. That's why there is always a line around here. Do you see this? Do you see this? The fur tends to follow the muscle and the skin. Do you see this? It, hap it happens here even more clearly. Here and here. When you're having trouble, understand that it's because there's something happening below the fur and here this big chunk of muscle do you know why this muscle is here oh yeah to bite and kill yeah i said that to kill do you see here do you see this place right here that's how the doggo gets happy out of nowhere that's how the dog gets happy do you see this doggo that's happy yeah Okay, and the ears. People tend to think like the fur in the ears is coming like exactly in the middle here. Exactly from the middle inside. And I need to tell you that it's not. This white fur right here that you're seeing, it's coming from the side of it. Oh yeah. This side right here that you see, it's coming from this part. And I, I want to show you that depending on the parts that we are working in the face, there are places with uh, long with long fur or short fur. As an example, here, we've got long fur. And it's not out of nowhere. He got long fur to protect its 
neck. And when I talk about holes, look at the eyes. It looks like the fur is coming from the eyes. Look at the direction. Look at it. Look at it. When you understand that, it comes so much easier for you to draw. So much easier. So much easier. And the nose, yeah. It's coming from the nose, too. And the mouth, here in the mouth. It's getting out of the mouth here. Opposite direction from the mouth. Going down. And everything just keeps following that direction. How incredible it is. And if this shape is hard for you, I recommend you starting with this basic one and then make a circle. Okay, simple circle. And here you make another simple circle. Good. And then you can just close it. Okay, just close it. Following that eye. Always following that eye. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, good. Okay, for the muzzle. To make it simple, do you know the right geometric format that we could put here? Oh, yeah. That's called a rectangle. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Here in the middle of the eyes. Okay, about the ears. First of all, I want to think of it like there is a round shape, a circle, a three-dimensional circle, okay? The place that the ear is going to be, right here. Do you see it? It's pretty far away behind in the head. I think you can see it, we can see it, yes, we can see it. Pretty far behind. Here, we're going to make the circle right here. When we are doing this fur right here, we're just making it long, right? Just long. But on this part, is it still going to be long? I would still do it long, or just make it small like this. But something that I did not notice is just you know, the fur can just be following a line, you know? It can be so dense, but so dense that you're just going to be some strong parts of shadows. And then out of them, start to think of doing even other things. I'm going to show pretty quick how to draw the mouth open. We need to look at this part here. I think the wolf is Engi. Engi wolf. Engi. Engi. Okay. The muzzle. Remember, it's a. Uh, Rectangle. And imagine that the rectangle cut it in half and open. So a part is going to be like this. And the other part is going to look like this. Okay. The nose does not change, okay? The nose does not change. 
nose doesn't change. But here on the side, remember, meat bending. Yes, exactly. Here it's bending. Here bending. It's bending. It's bending a lot. It's bending. Here, bending even more. Do you see this little part of meat here? This part here. It's pulling up the tip of the mouth. It's pulling that up. So here we're going to have the teeth. And some meat with the teeth. First of all, the canine. Small, 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 small. Big. Too big, too big. It's too big. Okay, let's go. And here. It's going to be the format of everything here. Including here, do you see? Everything is bending here. Do you need to see that there is... Everything is been put together in the middle because the wolf is angry and here the same but normally people would think yes i'm just going to make it pretty big a common mistake that um animal artists make yes is this one is big i'm just going to make this one out so big of course big 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 of course and everyone big you can do it. You can. No problem, but um, it changes the perspective. But what if you do it like this? Huh? Like this. This is a much more hardcore perspective that people don't do it. Here, we are doing two types of shadow. Soft shadows, normal shadows, and the direct one. Do you see there is a direct light coming from above and it's casting this shadow right here. People forget a lot about this type of shadow. And this shadow gives you such a great realism in your art. Hey champ, this gives you such a great realism.
Yes, that's strong. No. Low. Whoa. That's cool. I like it. Okay, champs, this is the new wolf. It's green. Oh my, it looks so good. It looks so perfect. I love it. <laughs> I'm not going to do this, but I love it a lot. <laughs> I really love it. Ah. 